uh, we came back in that night. Um, she specifically asked if I was with the group or whatever. And um, I felt like I had been praying, Lord, what do you want me to ask this girl? What's something I could do for this girl that would bless her? She was a hard worker. She works a 10 to 10 shift six days a week, serving ice cream in row of 10. And so I was like, Lord, what do you want to do? What, what can I do to impact somebody like her? What can I say that will have any kind of significance? And the Lord gave me this question to ask her. And so we came in that night and she was busy at first as our team came in, gelato ice cream. Oh man, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be in heaven. Uh, specifically the one in Roatan, coconut is what I prefer, Jesus, when I get there. Um, and so it was really good. But as we came, I was sitting out there and I couldn't wait any longer and the, the line cleared and she was in there. And we came in and I just brought our whole team in. And I said, Jaylee, I said, I wanna ask you a question I feel like God wants me to ask you. And I, I asked her this question. I said, uh, I said, what is your dream? Outside of serving ice cream, what's your dream? You know what that girl in Honduras said? She said, I just want to go back to church. She started weeping in the ice cream shop. And she said, I'm scared at night. I don't have peace. She said, I don't know where I'm going. I mean, she was going in all this stuff. And here we are in the middle of ice cream and uh, it, God just opens this gate of heaven all of a sudden right here in the ice cream shop. And you should have seen our team. I had our team just speak words of life, encouragement. People were sharing scripture with her and she's just weeping behind the counter. And we're just speaking life into her. And I just asked her at the end of the conversation, I just said, do you know who Jesus is? And, and I said, if you, if you don't, do you want to know him? And she said, yes, I want to know him. And I said, well, this is how you do this. And I said, he's the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through me. It's not through church. It's not through any of those things. And I said, you're going to have the best peace of your life when you lay your head on the pillow tonight. And I was like, when you confess him as Lord right here, you're going to sleep better than you've ever slept before because eternity is going to be secure for you. And man, we just quoted Romans. And I said, hey, this is all you got to do. This is as simple as this. You need to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And I said, do you want to do that, Jaylee? She said, yes, I do. And I said, well, say it. And she's right there in the middle of that ice cream shop. She said, Jesus is Lord. And I said, just ask him to come in you. And she said, Jesus, will you come on the inside of me? And boom, transformation happens right in the middle of that ice cream shop. There's people waiting in line. People are walking in. There's a guy in the back that's agnostic that, you know, is a couple came in from the outside to watch it all. All this stuff is taking place. The guy, agnostic guy was asking Caden, hey, what is all this? And, and Caden's like, it's the Holy Spirit, man. I'm glad you're here, you know? And so really cool. <laughs> if you know Caden Gillowaters, that's funny right there. So um, um, it just he's just a natural encourager. And so it just was this impactful moment where we were supposed to be there on that night at that time. And if that trip wasn't a day shorter, we would have never been there. And it was, boom, God knew what he was doing right there. She got saved, and it was an incredible thing. Got to give her a Follow Jesus book. Um, and, man, she was so excited afterwards. She was like, I just feel like a new creation. And I'm like, well, let me tell you about a scripture that says that.